Welcome back to the Movie Man. Today I will show you a 2023 South Korean crime action thriller film, Kill Box Soon. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the middle of a blocked road, a Yakuza man named Oda wakes up, finding himself in just his underwear in front of Bok Soon, the legendary assassin. Instead of killing him immediately, Bok Soon explains she learned from her daughter Jaeyong that things should be done fairly which was discussed when they heard the news about the senator refuting all claims that his son was fraudulently admitted into college. So to be fair, Bok Soon gives Oda a sword so he can defend himself while she'll fight with a hatchet. A fierce battle begins between two very skilled warriors, but in the end, it's Oda who kills Bok Soon. However, Bok Soon is suddenly seen alive as well because that fight had just been her analyzing the situation and predicting the result. Seeing as she can't win hand to hand, she decides to cheat and just shoot Oda. Afterward, Bok Soon goes home, where she discovers her daughter has been hiding cigarettes. This makes Bok Soon remember when her abusive father found her smoking and made her eat a cigarette. When Jae Yong gets home, Bok Soon goes through many scenarios in her mind, and seeing they all end in an argument, she decides not to scold her, since their relationship is already pretty tense and awkward. Jae Young doesn't know her mother is an assassin and hates how secretive and absent she can be. The next day, Oda's death appears on the news. Min Q is glad to see Bok Soon did her job well because he's the CEO of MK Enterprise, the assassin company Bok Soon works for. However, his sister Min He is jealous because she knows Min Kyu adores Bok Soon and pays more attention to her. Meanwhile, Bok Soon gets together with her hitman friends for a drink. Everyone is impressed by her sword and her salary, which is quite high because she's class A and the best in the business. While they chat, they discuss the three rules Min Kyu has taught all the assassin companies, never murder minors, only take jobs sanctioned by their companies and always attempt the assigned jobs. Disobeying these rules will get the employee killed. After the meeting is over, Bok Soon finds a group of thugs checking out her car and calling her naughty names. Bok Soon insults them back, but before they can react, fellow assassin He Sung cuts in and beats them all up. He Sung is as good as Bok Soon and should be class A as well, but he couldn't go that high because he got on the CEO's bad side. After the fight, Bok Soon and He Sung spend the night together, and Bok Soon gives He Sung money for his father's medical treatment, which hurts He Sung's pride. Meanwhile, Jae Young is meeting with her girlfriend Sara. Their relationship is a secret because they know their mothers wouldn't approve of their preferences. Unfortunately, they have to interrupt all their kissing when a group of classmates almost walks on them, and Jae Young has to turn down Kyol Woo's invitation to hang out which makes him rather angry. Sometime later, Bok Soon goes to the MK offices to see Min Q, but Min He blocks her way and drags her away for a special activity. In a shady bathroom, Yong Ji attacks a man, triggering a fierce fight that throws them against the wall, revealing this is just an exercise in the Assassin Academy. Min He puts Bok Soon on the spot and asks her to train with Yong Ji who is her biggest fan. Yong Ji arms herself with a wooden knife and Bok Soon with a marker, and the fight starts with an obvious advantage for Bok Soon. Yong Ji manages to pull a trick to throw his weapon from one hand to the other, which would have given Bok Soon a cue if the knife had been real. However Bok Soon quickly retaliates and uses her marker to write on Yong Ji's neck, which would have equaled death. Afterward, Bok Soon meets with Min Q who makes her choose between two envelopes for the next mission. Book Soon looks at her choice and discovers she must kill a boy, but Min Q quickly corrects her and explains he's of age. Bok Soon also takes the chance to remind Min Q her contract is ending soon and she'll be retiring. Their meeting is interrupted when Bok Soon gets a call from the school saying that Jae Young stabbed Kia Woo. She rushes to the school and learns that her daughter is at risk of being expelled because she never gave a reason for the attack. For now, she gets a week of suspension and then the committee will make a proper decision later. Afterward, Bok Soon talks to Jae Young and demands an explanation, but Jae Young just says she wants to kill Kia Woon. Later while He Sung is on a job cleaning the bodies he left, 
Fox soon offers her company and rants about how distant she feels from her daughter. She's also worried that Jae Young is becoming too much like her. Meanwhile, the leaders of each assassin company under MK are having a meeting. They've discovered there's a murder victim that happened outside the company's orders and the culprit could be one of their employees. Min Q assures everyone that if that's true, he won't hesitate to kill the culprit for breaking the rules. They don't know this is all a plan by Min Hee, who wants to get rid of Bok Soon to have Min Q for herself. Sometime later, Bok Soon keeps on trying to talk to Jae Young. But the girl ignores her. At that moment she gets a call from Min Q, who is getting ready to go on a trip, and he informs her that Yong Ji will be her partner for the mission. Later in the evening, the two assassins break into the victim's apartment and knock him out, then they begin preparing the details to make it look like he did it himself. But when she's about to kill him, Bok soon realizes the face looks familiar and checks the goodbye later, it turns out this is the senator's son who the father is getting killed to get rid of the scandal. Her thoughts are suddenly interrupted by a call that goes directly to voicemail, and she listens to the message to discover it's Jae Yong apologizing for everything. Inspired by this, Bok Soon refuses to kill a young man just because his father is ashamed, so she calls Min Q to tell him she's made a mistake and failed the mission. Min Q has already arrived at a Russian bar and he puts on his earbuds to talk to Bok Soon while he carries on his mission. A fierce battle ensues in the bar but Min Q has no issues fighting and killing every man that approaches him with accurate shots or hand-to-hand -hand combat. As he fights, he demands to know the truth. But Bok soon sticks to her story and even makes Yong Ji say she also made a mistake to make it more believable. Min Q points out Bok soon broke the rules, so to buy his silence, Bok soon says she'll accept to extend her contract with MK instead of retiring. Her only condition is that nobody can finish the mission she failed, and Min Q accepts. Like and subscribe may look simple for you, but for us, it's precious. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Thank you for being so supportive. When Bok Soon gets home, Jae Young is already sleeping. However, when she leaves the room, it's revealed that Jae Young was just pretending to be asleep, and she's been needing comfort because Sara won't answer her messages. After finishing his task, Min Q calls Min Hee and tells her to close the senator's case. Ignoring the fact this could damage the company's reputation. Min Q clearly prefers Bok Soon, which makes Min Hee hate her more. Ready for revenge, she goes looking for He Sung to ask him to finish Bok Soon's failed mission, which he immediately accepts because it would put him in the A Leagues and give him the money for his father's treatment. On the plane, Min Q can't help thinking about the day he met Bok Soon many years ago. When Min Q broke into a house to kill a man, the guy's daughter came home earlier than expected. This was Bok Soon, who wasn't bothered by the fact someone was trying to kill her abusive dad. In fact, she kicked the chair to finish the job. Min Q had been impressed by the girl's lack of fear and quick thinking, so he took her under his wing to train her as an assassin. Sometime later, Bok Soon finally gets to have a proper talk with her daughter, who shares what truly happened. Kyol Wu took a picture of her and Sarah kissing, then he threatened to make them public unless Jae Young dated him for one month. To make matters worse, Sarah asked Jae Young to do what he said for the sake of her reputation. Hurt by her girlfriend's lack of empathy, Jae Young responded by stabbing Kyol Wu with a pair of scissors. Bok Soon is quite upset to hear her daughter likes girls and asks her if she's just confused, which hurts Jae Young deeply and makes her remind her mother she keeps secrets too. Their conversation is interrupted by a visit from Yong Ji. Bok Soon thinks this is an attack, but she immediately calms down when Yeon Ji explains she's been fired because she's being blamed for the failure to cover for Bok Soon. Feeling guilty and pitiful, Bok Soon takes Yong Ji to the bar to have dinner together, and Jae Yong has to watch how her mother chooses to work over her again. At the bar, Bok Soon's assassin pals arrive with He Sung as they congratulate him for becoming a rank, which immediately tells Bok Soon that something's wrong. Meanwhile, Min Q violently confronts Min Hee for finishing the senator's job, but Min Hee responds by trying to kiss him. Min Q turns her down and sticks to defending Bok Soon. At the bar, 
Bok Soon sees the news of the boy's death and immediately guesses what happened. Her scolding of Hee Sung is suddenly interrupted by a call from Min Hee, who asks to be put on speaker. Then she offers the mission of killing Bok Soon, whoever manages it will jump straight to rank B. Another savage fight begins and even the bar owner joins, and Bok Soon is shocked to see Yong Ji is actually on her side helping her kill each of the guys. One by one they kill every single assassin with whatever tool they can find around, and lastly only Hee Sung is left. When Bok Soon comes to kill him, Hee Sung asks her to take care of his dad before he dies. Afterward, Bok Soon calls the cleaning crew and wonders why Yong Ji helped her. So Yang Ji explains she just wants to survive and Bok Soon has more chances of winning. Then Bok Soon gets a call from Jae Young, who wonders when her mother will come home because she needs her. However, Min Kyu suddenly shows up and violently pushes Bok Soon against the wall, furious because she's broken a bunch of rules, which will get him in trouble with the other leaders. Bok Soon doesn't want her daughter to hear this. So Min Q quickly destroys the phone. Then Yong Ji cuts in and explains that Min He sent the orders. Min Q asks Bok Soon to come to the office the next day to renew her contract because that's the only way he can protect her, but Bok Soon refuses, knowing that this disrespect means they'll have to fight. However when she calculates the outcome, she can see she loses, so she has no choice but to accept to renew the contract. After Bok Soon leaves, Min Q asks Yang Ji not to tell anyone about this. At home, Bok Soon is scolded by her daughter, who had been worried because she didn't answer her phone. Jae Yong explains Sara has broken up with her and is now denying she's into girls like that. Bok Soon apologizes for her reaction earlier and promises Jae Yong she doesn't have to hide who she is. Then she has a breakdown. And Jae Young realizes her mother has had an awful day at work too. They bond over their difficult lives while Bok Soon continues to keep details vague, but Jae Young suddenly confesses she once found a gun and a fake passport in her mother's bag. This makes Jae Young think her mother is CIA, and since Bok Soon finally feels close to her daughter, she doesn't deny it. The next day the company bosses hold a meeting to discuss the killing of their men. Suspecting that Min Q is involved in this, Min Q explains Bok Soon had been defending herself and offers monetary compensation, but some of the bosses don't believe him and ask him to finish things for himself as the rules say, even handing him the blade to do so. Instead, Min Q kills one of the bosses on top of the table and reminds everyone that he is the rule, so he adds a new one to the list, not drawing weapons during their meetings. Meanwhile, Bok Soon goes to the office to sign the contract, only to find Min Hee, who confesses Yang Ji was killed by Min Q after she left the other night. Furious, Bok Soon kills Min Hee with a pin and leaves it for Min Q as a message that she wants to duel him. In the evening, Bok Soon makes sure to have a very cozy dinner with Jae Young, even letting her skip the vegetables. She wants her to have a last good memory in case she doesn't come back. Moments later, Bok Soon arrives at the office, and Min Q begins shooting at her as soon as the elevator doors open. However, Bok Soon doesn't move, knowing he isn't being serious yet. Then Min Q asks her to have a drink with him, saying he's already predicted the battle and that she lost. Bok Soon begins going through dozens of predictions in her head, using all kinds of techniques to try to kill Min Q each time, but no matter what she tries, she always ends up losing. However hearing him talk about the old days makes her realize he does have a weakness, and that's Bok Soon herself. It turns out Min Q had been in love with her all this time, and when Bok Soon finally says it aloud, it's enough to distract Min Q and kill him with a samurai sword. Before dying, Min Q confesses he sent a tablet to Jae Young so she could watch everything through the security cameras. Panicking and upset. Bok Soon rushes back to her home, afraid her daughter will hate her now. However, Jae Young is asleep in her bed, so maybe Min Q was lying. At that moment, Jae Young wakes up and praises Bok Soon for always working so hard for the family, which makes her feel guilty and leaves her wondering if Jae Young truly doesn't know. Sometime later, it's revealed that the senator who got his son killed died in his car due to carbon monoxide poisoning implying Bok Soon did it. Jae Yong has officially been expelled, 
but she goes to the school to say a final goodbye to her friends. She shakes hands with Sarah and leans in to whisper in her ear that she debated whether to kiss her in front of everyone or to just kill her. Afterward, she makes eye contact with Kiel Wu as she touches her neck, reminding him what she's capable of. That was all of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.